The city of Baltimore could wrap up 2019 with its highest ever per capita homicide rate. Within the last week alone, there have been 12 shootings. WJZ is live outside police headquarters. Rachel Menetoff gives us a look at the various police investigations and what city officials are asking of the community. Rachel. Max, as you mentioned, there are now 12 active investigations, and police say they can't solve these crimes alone. They need the community to come forward with information. The city of Baltimore has reached 338 homicides this year. That's 34 more than this time last year. It's the fifth year in a row that the city has reported more than 300 killings. Our city is just plaguing with family members that are passing away. So we just want to touch some hearts today. This holiday season, the organization Tears of a Mother's Cry hosted a Christmas breakfast for children and their families, all of whom have lost a parent or sibling to gun violence. My son left behind a hero. Rashida Murray joined the organization after losing both of her sons, Romar and Roger Burton, to violence in the city. You know, just to know that somebody you have that support you know, just out there because it's a lonely, it's a lonely place. Now police say they're working around the clock, canvassing areas where multiple shootings injured 16 people and killed four more. Most recently, a man was shot early Christmas Day in northeast Baltimore on Sedonia Avenue. He was taken to the hospital. There is no word on his condition. This week, Mayor Young called the level of violence unacceptable, asking anyone who has information to come forward, whether you call police directly or want to remain anonymous. We need to stop this no snitching and start telling what we see so we can curb the violence and crime in the city of Buffalo. Police are still searching for the 12 for the suspects in all 12 shootings from this past week. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Rachel Menetoff for WJZ.